Obstetric and newborn providers should establish effective communication to better coordinate care. Before every birth, you should ask and know the answers to these four questions. Use the responses to determine if you have the necessary personnel and equipment. She told me that she's 36 weeks. What color is the fluid? Thick meconium. Okay, so meconium fluid. How many babies are there? Just one. And are there any other risk factors? Just the lady cells. Team, we are expecting a 36-week delivery. This is a single baby born with meconium and D-cells. So let's go ahead and assign roles. I'll be team lead. Leanne, could you take care of the airway and the head of the bed? Courtney, would you be willing to do ventilation? Ventilation. Delinda, will you place the pulse ox, assess circulation, and start chest compressions if needed? All supplies and equipment necessary for a complete resuscitation must be readily available for every birth. A general list of items to prepare will include supplies and equipment for suction, positive pressure ventilation, intubation, medications, umbilical vessel catheterization, and other miscellaneous items such as a radiant warmer, timer, and stethoscope. For very preterm babies, additional supplies will include plastic bag or plastic wrap and a thermal mattress. You should be familiar with the location and use of all the supplies and equipment in your area. Excellent team, I think we're ready. Baby's out. Have our timer on. Suction. All right, let's warm, dry, and stimulate the baby. I'm placing the pulse ox on. Excellent. Remove the wet linens. We are nearing 30 seconds of stimulation and we're almost a minute of age. Let's listen and check for apnea. That's definitely less than 100, and I don't feel any chest movement. This baby is not, not breathing. Let's begin positive pressure. Does everyone agree? Yes. yes. I agree. Positive pressure has been started. I'll put, put on the lead. lead. Ventilation of the newborn's lungs is the single most important and effective step in neonatal resuscitation. Thus, learning how to provide PPV is the foundation of neonatal resuscitation. Before birth, you should have set up your PPV equipment. Shown here is a flow inflating bag. Flow should be set at 10 liters. Starting oxygen concentration should be 21% for 35 weeks gestation or greater and between 21 and 30% for those less than 35 weeks. PEEP when available on the device should be set at 5 centimeters of water. Initial peak inspiratory pressure PIP, should start between 20 and 25 centimeters of water. How will you know you are providing effective ventilation? The most important indicator will be the rising heart rate. Heart rate should be on the rise after 15 seconds of effective PPV. If the heart rate is increasing, then continue PPV until you determine the baby no longer needs PPV. If the heart rate is not increasing, check for chest movement. Chest movement can be assessed visually or by gently feeling for a rise and fall of chest movement with your hand. If the chest is not moving, then take ventilation correction steps immediately until PPV is able to move the chest. Continue PPV that moves the chest for 30 seconds and then reassess heart rate. Right, we're going to do 15 seconds of bagging. I'm going to go on ahead and take your stethoscope from you. Okay. I don't feel any chest rise. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time. I'll make sure that the heart rate is correlating with the monitor. The heart rate is 70 and not increasing. We should start Mr. Sopa. Mr. Sopa is a mnemonic to remember the six ventilation correction steps to take when you determine that you are not providing effective ventilation. M is for mask adjustment. Make sure the mask fits properly and forms a good seal. R is for reposition airway. Place the head in the sniffing position as you reapply the mask. S is for suction mouth and nose. O is for open mouth. You can open the mouth as you suction. P is for pressure increase. Increase PIP cautiously, but inflating the lungs may require higher inspiratory pressure initially. A is for alternate airway. Place an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask airway before proceeding further down the NRP algorithm. We 
should start Mr. Sopa. M is for math. I've got the right size and I have a good seal. R is for repositioning. Okay, let's try that curl. S is for section. O is for open airway. P is for pressure. I see chest movement now. If that hadn't worked, we would have gone to A, alternate airway. We're going to bag for 30 seconds, and after that, we'll check our heart rate. The heart rate has increased to 150.